So, um, this is, uh, it's, uh, there's a beta update for the Steam Link. Oh, again, don't buy this thing. Don't do it. I had a problem. Anyways, I said I'd do that every single video. Link in the description about that. Uh, so anyways, for those of you who have this, there's a beta update. Uh, allows you to use... A software called USB here. Uh, is that what it's called? Uh, no, virtual here. Virtual here. Uh, excuse me for my house. I'm moving, so I'll just stuff all over the place. So, yeah, <laughs> that's how it looks now. But this uh, update, and I should have had my oh, my controller's here. <clears throat> allows you to turn on this uh, this feature here. I'm I think it's in system. Yeah, at the, at the bottom it says where it says disable USB sharing. Right there. No, right there. Where it says disable the USB sharing. If I hit that, it'll you know say enable the USB sharing. And uh, above it says. Experimental support for sharing a single USB device using virtual here. This requires installing the client software from virtualhere.com to your computer. So you can um, plug in a uh, you know a device, any USB device right now. So what I have here is my capture card. Now I don't really need it like this, but this is the Hophog HD PBR Rocket. And I plug that into the Steam Link, and I can actually pull up the video from that using this <coughs> software here um, on my computer. Virtual here, which is right here, here. Get that to focus. And I can connect, here we have it right here, this is everything that's connected to the Steam Link. It finds it over your network, and I can actually connect to the HDPVR, like that. So now it sees the HDPVR, and I can pull up my capture software for that. It's Hophog Capture. And that should bring up the window. And here you see, if, if it would focus, that the HDPVR rocket is being seen by um, by this uh, software, Hoppa Capture. It should take a little while, but it, there it is. See, there's the video showing up there, and I can use that to capture, so I don't have to have either a long USB cable, or I could basically be, you know, on the third floor and wirelessly be able to connect my HDPVR to my PC on the, I don't really have a third floor and a second floor and all these floors, I just have one, but, you know, if you had a house with multiple floors, you could have your um, HDPVR hooked up to your Steam Link in the basement, say, and if your computer was on the third floor, you'd be able to pull it up with, with uh, Virtual Here and then connect to your HDPVR and then you'd be able to capture without having to run wires or to have like a computer right next to your setup. So, just thought that that concept was quite cool. Um, what else? Just yeah, you basically can plug in any any USB device that you want, and it will be seen as a USB device that is attached to your computer. And uh, the only thing I found with this was when launching, I couldn't record the Steam Link uh, on the same computer that I was streaming the game uh, from. So you would have to have a separate computer, probably like a, uh, or a, or a tablet or something, to install Hopaw Capture onto, and then stream your game, and then you could record using the capture method. But it... it it would disconnect if I use the same computer that I'm playing the games on to record with as well. So that was that. However, one thing that you can do outside of that is if you have a console, like say you have a like a PS4 or um, 
uh, Xbox One or maybe even one of the other consoles like uh, you know Wii U or whatever, uh, you can actually plug. You know, you could have your Wii U plugged into your capture card and pull this Steam link up and use the uh, the USB sharing feature. And it will actually, you can use that to capture like the Wii U or I have this, it set up with the Retron 5 and the Wii U. And you can capture it and stream it, you know, to the internet with that so you don't have to have computers right next to your device like that. So that was one thing I was showing. Another thing that people were able to do with this was that they could plug in their um, Xbox 360 controllers and uh, use this USB sharing feature in order to get um, uh, controller mapping software to work. I'm just going to end this. Alright. Get out of there. Uh, they were also able to get uh, what was it? The one that I have is... A uh, Pinnacle Gamepad Mapper. So they were able to plug into because normally with the link you can't actually use Pinnacle Gamepad Mapper uh, for whatever reason. But I was actually you know a lot of people were actually able to plug into their Steam link and use this virtual here option to actually work around that, and then it's it acts as a, uh, a USB controller plugged into your computer. And then um, Pinnacle Gamepad Mapper actually sees um, your Xbox controller, and then you can play your games with an Xbox controller. So that was an interesting workaround. Um, and I'm sure you could figure out other reasons to do this. Uh, I've seen people that, that even purchased this product to um, use it like a remote desktop. Oh, excuse me. Use it like a re remote desktop feature so they can you know, plug in other things or whatever. Um, hmm. Another thought. <laughs> I had to bring this up. I have here the Retroad. Okay, so I would maybe be able to... This uh, allows you to play cartridges through emulators by making it look like USB storage. And I would be able to plug this into the... Um, the uh, Steam Link, pop a cartridge in here, and then bring it up uh, th through an emulator on my PC and play uh, play my cartridges that way or something like that. Any, any, you know, there's some cool things you could probably do with it. Um, you know, one thought that I had was to plug in. I have a uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this is a Focusrite. Uh, USB uh, blah, 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 uh, audio interface, so I can plug a guitar in or whatever, and I'm sure I could probably plug a USB cable into this, and then, you know, stream the, the screen or something, and then actually even record music with using the uh, Steam Link, um, and all, and and a DAW to uh, mix and record audio or whatever. Or even use it with, uh, like, maybe, what is it? What's this? Um, Revolver. Revolver 4, which I have, or I have Amplitude. So you can plug in and even play uh, your music and have that, you know, go into an amplifier um, and stuff. So, <laughs> uh, that's that. So... Just figured I'd show that, and again, uh, unless Va uh, Val comes up with some update that allows you to access your, uh, uh, what is it, your recovery outside of the OS, I'm sure as hell cannot recommend this, but if they allow you to do such a thing, I will 100% uh, recommend that you do pick this up but not without a proper recovery because kind of if I update, I get a little worried, I get nervous, and it really should have a, uh, 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 <laughs> a recovery that's accessible outside of the OS. This way, if the OS breaks, 
you can still recover the device and not have to send it back to Valve, which is hell. So, thank you for watching.